Hi, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and joining me on this adventure, which this time takes place in space. We are about to experience an indie game called The Gunk. The developer of this game is Image and Form Games, and it was published by Thunderful Publishing. I'm very, very excited to play this game and share this story with you. So, Go ahead, grab some snacks, turn down the lights, get comfy, and let's go to space. Is that our ship? Wow! This looks so beautiful. <gasps> We're in space! Hey, Bex, anything on the scanner up there? Ah, the signal's gone, and I'm getting a bellyache just thinking about the fuel expense of landing on this dud. Sure, we thought we'd already be on another delivery job. But that energy spike definitely came from this place, and I'm already geared up back here. All right, all right. Oh, wow. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so excited, so thrilled. Approaching drop point. You secured? All right, hooked up and... Oh, damn it. The power glove's acting up. Again? What'd you use to mend it? Super glue? <laughs> Super glue? Why not just solder it? Because we're out of zinc for the alloy. I used the last rod to patch up the hydro spanner. No solder rods? No coffee? Only one beer left? I'm sick of having gruel for lunch? Bean poor sucks. All right, here we go. Wow, is that us? Awesome. Oh, I don't like this weather. Pretty sure the ship's insurance won't cover alien storm damage. Hey, our dust bunny's tough. If she could talk, she'd say she want us to land and go explore. No, you want us to land so you can go explore. One up to you, Captain. Since when am I the captain? We took the loan together. We both have to pay the mortgage. It seems so far I can't run faster than this. But it's okay. This is our inventory, I think. Glove grip soldering. Grab, carry, or throw certain objects. A proper joint soldering to repair your glove's digits. Can't install, not at the workbench. Okay, so we will have some sort of workbenches here. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. Scanned items, encyclopedia. And this is system. Okay, good to know. Wait, the signal's back. Weaker though, and I can't get a clear reading. There's some stuff down here causing interference. Come take a look. Okay. Um, <laughs> that thing what looks scary. Indeed. Let's go check it out. Huh. A blob of gunk. Yeah, that's an apt name for it. Can you scan it without getting too close? What's in it? Looks like snot. If it is, I don't want to meet the thing that's Keep your mask on. Okay, so the green thing is scanning. Okay, good. Seems to be some sort of organic compound. Luckily, I don't think it's snot. Think you can use your glove to clean it up? All right, what do you say, pumpkin? Can we clean it up? <laughs> What's up with the radio reception? Hold RT to absorb. Clean up the conk. <laughs> this kind of looks fun. Okay, let's clean up this place. Whoa! Wait, did we do that? Interesting is what it is. Give me that data. Oh, hold RB to scan the glowing pool. Let's do that. You sure you didn't get super glue in the scanner? 
A hundred percent. Why? The pattern kind of looks like the signal we got before, just weaker. If the reading is right, this stuff's got some energy potential. For real? Keep your head screwed on. This puddle's not much to write home about. But if we can find a bigger deposit, I think we should look for a place to land. Sweet! Light the way! Okay. I don't know if there's anything else we can do. Can we somehow absorb this? No, no, we can't. Can we scan anything else? Whoa, what are those crystals? Did we come? But here is a weird place. Let's take a look at this. Nothing to scan. Can we absorb it? Not getting through here. Hmm. More gunk on the other side of these nasty vines. Okay. Oh, but look at the color of these crystals. Can we scan them? Yes, we can. Luminescent crystal, mineral, iron traces, luciferine. Oh no, now I lost it. Oh, here, encyclopedia. Mm, let's read what we scanned. So, luminescent crystal, iron traces, luci luciferin, luciferin, light source. That's good to know. We might need that later. A novel crystal formation. The molecular structure is interspersed with bioluminescent material. No real energy output that can be put to practical use. Okay. Energy Fisher Category Alien High Energy Substance Energy Dense The energy pattern is identical to the one we picked up on approach, only weaker. Plants seem to thrive in its proximity. Not sure about the stability of this novel source of energy, but further investigation is definitely on the agenda. Okay. Gunk. Gunk. <laughs> Three question marks. Uh, value estimation harmful? Some sort of organic compound. Scan inconclusive, but luckily it's not snot. True, yeah. It seems to have some sort of corrosive effect on the environment. Okay. If we find more of that substance, our poor days might be over. I could get a garden of my own back home. What would you do? Pay our bills? I meant <laughs> after that. <laughs> I know. But I don't dream big until I know it's within my reach. A dream, Bex, is something that's out of our reach. Otherwise, it's called an option. <laughs> Can I somehow interact with... No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Wait, are these the same? This looks slightly different. Yeah, they are the same, but they just look a bit different. Sheesh. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just some shakes. <laughs> Nothing major. Okay, little shakes. Where can we go? We came from there, so... There's an open space over these cliffs. Can we make it through? Anything for my captain. <laughs> well, what's Enough there? The captain thing. Luminescent shards, mineral. W wow. That word with the composition. <laughs> Super hard to pronounce. But let's read it here. An impressive crystal structure with some bioluminescent particles inside. No real energy output to speak of. Okay. 
Well, we scanned it and I'm proud that we did scan it. Oh, where are we now? This place seems like it's big enough for the bunny, right? Yeah, but I can't take her down until that gun's gone. Care to clean it up? Oh yeah, it'll be our pleasure. <laughs> Let's go and clear some gunk. It was this one. Let's go. We are like this really cool cleaning crew in space. Do you want me to first hold the LT? I don't know why this aiming window doesn't go off. I mean, I'm using aim, so perhaps, it, perhaps it's just gonna stay there until I finished with this mission. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at that! <gasps> That's a tree! Amazing! What did I even do? The gunk must be suppressing the plant life somehow. All right, make way. Coming down. Hmm. Yeah, it might be. That's wonderful. I love the visuals of this game. To go, Kurt. Don't wander off this time. You got served. <laughs> Maybe you should take a look at his code. Yesterday, he ran all of my tools through the washing machine. Uh, yeah. That storm was rough, and I don't like the look of that river. I'll run some diagnostics on Bunny just to be safe. Now. I was thinking we could do some exploring together. Avoid the boring stuff, you mean? <laughs> no, I just thought. I know, Ronnie, but I have to take care of the ship first. Look, I'm running a constant scan for the energy signal. Why don't you remove some more gunk and see if we pick it up again? Okay, if you say so, Cap. <laughs> just be careful. Wow, our ship looks amazing and. Just wow, Bex looks awesome too. Are those stickers? <laughs> Perhaps from the places where we have been in. Let's take a look at our ship. What are these? So we have three beds, but I see only two people using those beds and one robot which i'm assuming does not need any beds here take a look at the amount of all of these details it's wonderful look at their coffee machine steam bots unite mm -hmm. and that looks like some kind of calendar or almanac they're counting days Cans that say coin the tomato and space yum. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is the third one? I need to know. Pop poodles. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure what the mug says, but I appreciate all these details. And this hammock, it's a it's it looks so cozy and nice. Can we install any upgrades? Can't install not enough resources. Okay. So we need 20 cubes of something. <laughs> what is this? This looks interesting. Check the data for me, please. What's up with your attention span? Weren't you gonna clean up some gunk? Um, yes, and I definitely will, but like, let's scan the planet first. It's really compact. Looks like it could burst any minute. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's plant it. I never managed to read those, but one day I will. Um, 
So now we have two available upgrades, kinda. Hydraulic braces. Achieve a higher run speed. Oh, that would be good, yeah. Affixes exoskeletal knee braces to your knee pads. Okay, good. Can't install not at the workbench. Cost... And cost is again measured in these weird resources. So even if I would be at the workbench, I could not install them. Because I don't have that many collected resources yet. Okay. So mycelium coil, category fungus, uh, value exploration aid, a lot of pent up kinetic energy inside the glowing fruit body. An energy spark should trigger the release of its potential. Once the bulbous top is removed, the stem should yield a new one pronto. Okay. Can we scan something else? No, what about these fun looking plants? Some kind of fungus, no practical use. Large waterlogged fungus with beaded like skin that reflects mostly blue light. Okay. Hmm, can I scan these? No, I was supposed to take care of the junk, but like, look at all these things I can scan. Can I scan these weird looking? No. Okay. Look at this robot, it's full of stickers. Oh my goodness, and it looks like it has a small tie. Can you see that with the red and white stripes? Hey, Kurt. You got served. And a good day to you too, buddy. <laughs> Love it. Okay. What are these? Are these the same? Yeah. Hmm. This glowing stuff sure looks interesting. I wonder. What are you up to? Since this is not worth harvesting, I might as well throw that seed thing in there and see what happens. Ooh. Take cover, Kurt. <laughs> Let's find out. Anything new to scan? No. Okay. I think I need to get the plant first so that I can jump up there and remove the gong. At least that's my working theory for now. Old RT. Volex, I can't rip it off. Mm, it roots deep underground. You'll need a proper fix for the glove. If you find some metal ore for the soldering alloy, you could repair it once and for all. If we're gonna stick around here for a while, I'm really going to need it. Hmm. So we should gather some metal alloy. Good to know. I guess there's nothing here I re can really scan. Oh, I do wish I could run faster. I think we came in through did we come in through there? I'm gonna just quickly take a look at that place, you know. If it takes us to somewhere new. Somewhere else. No, this is the same way we entered this place. Our ship looks so pretty. And I really dig our companion who is here with us. Location Desolate Valley. Wow, look at this place. Mm -hmm. And something is glowing in there, okay. Mm 
No, nothing to scan. This river looks pretty bad. Wonder where it leads. Yes, so this was how I picked up material. Anything else here I can pick up randomly? This cave looks ominous! Let's go! Oh, this looks like something we might be looking for. Let's scan it first. What about this? Anything we can use? Alright, there's platinum in there. That should give a solid solder. Go get some more. So construction uh, component called Sperilite. Um, let's see. It's here in the mineral section. Composition platinum. Value construction, a multi-element compound growing in a cubic crystal structure. Most importantly, the compound contains precious metals suitable for manufacturing. Okay, great. Now we might be able to actually upgrade our equipment, which would be wonderful. What else is in here? Can we scan these? Um, squid lantern, category fungus, light source, cave dwelling, warm like fungi. It gets all of its energy from the soil and it's not dependent on photosynthesis. Interesting. Can we go deeper into this cave? Oh, look at that. What are those? Brine anvil, mineral, titanium, chromium, and nadium. Value construction. The deep dark blue color of this crystal is striking to look at. More importantly, it contains several valuable metals suitable for use in manufacturing. Okay, let's pick it up. Can we pick these up as well? No, we can't. We sh totally should pick this up as well. Oh, we took everything. That's good. You're not taking unnecessary risks now, huh? I never take unnecessary risks. Oh, yeah? What about that time on Beta Romulan? Ugh, that foreman didn't even listen. I warned her. That woman owes you half an arm. I could have died in that shitty mine. But instead, I got you. And this lovely glove. So, am I sensing some kind of relationship, you know, between these two characters? I mean, clearly Rani seems like they might be interested in Bex. Mm, Lump fruit. A fruit-bearing plant containing cellulose as well as natural oil. Will come in handy. Something, something. Um, in local manufacturing, okay. Value construction, let's dig it. I think this part might take us back up, up there. More resources. Let's take all of them. Let's jump and take them from here. Totally not taking any unnecessary risks. That plant though, it looks slightly... That plant looks quite scary. Ah, uh, fungus. 
airborne spores not edible okay okay Bex. i think i got what i need great head back let's go i hope we can run faster after we're done here oh what is this it looks sparkly i need to know what it is mm. exploration aid we should definitely take it use sweet a shortcut <gasps> oh yes yes thank you that's wonderful and soon we'll be able to run even faster. At least I hope so. Let's install our upgrades. We would need this, but we would also need this. How much do we know? We don't have those very thing. Okay. Let's begin with what we can do. Do you want to install glove grip soldering? Definitely do. Ah, uh, here we go. Good as new, pumpkin. I'll be able to rip up that stubborn alien plant for sure. Stop chatting with your glove and just go pick the damn plant. Hey, I'm totally working on it. I'm a good worker. Alright, I guess I'll just throw this ball into that glowing stuff and see what happens, right? Mm, you got more of a green thumb than me. <laughs> I'm hoping it will give us some sort of jumping platform so that we can jump on top of those. Son of a... Did you blow something up? Yeah. yeah, you can say that. I just grew myself a freaking staircase. A staircase? What? In the energy puddle? Huh, that's interesting. It Play is. One. Why don't you tell me about it back here? I'm all done and I'm ready for some chow. In a few minutes, okay? <sighs> <laughs> I hope I didn't like stop their conversation when I started doing this. Usually they have continued their conversation even though I am vacuum cleaning this gunk away from these places. Oh my goodness! This gets so much prettier. What is that? What is that? It looks like, I don't know, some sort of really weird hairy thumb. But I get no reading from it. <gasps> okay. So here is another one of these pools. Good to know. Mm. I don't see other plants though, so... What are you telling me? I can't jump there? I mean, surely I must be able to jump there. Come on. So, no undo jumping yet, but what do we have in here? These are the awesome glowing things. Can I use them as well? No, I can't. I do wonder what happened to Ronnie. They were talking about some kind of work-related accident in which she lost her arm. I wonder what's all that about and I hope we will learn more of her story in the future. Okay, so now we're back to this place. Well, last time we came from there, ended up in that platform and jumped over there to go to the other side. So 
so far I have no idea what the kunk we have encountered is. It clearly suppresses plants which live here, so perhaps it might somehow feed on life force? What's your theory? What do you think? <laughs> Now we know kind of what's in here. I know I jump quite a lot with Rani at the moment, but since we cannot run any faster yet, I'm going to wholeheartedly enjoy just walking around with her, jumping to all the places and just having fun. Just in case I didn't mention it already, our two main characters seem really interesting. What is their story? What brought them together? Why are they on this ship? I want to know more. <laughs> it looks really weird. Okay, let's go. Oh, it grew another one. Can I use this to make another one of these can i jump with this <gasps> well i couldn't that was it <laughs> can we do other upgrades yet no yeah yeah, yeah. we were here already let's talk with a friend. I think the bunny will like it here. Could be worse, I guess. Ample space, ground seems stable enough. I'm still not happy about the look of that river, though. Come on. It doesn't get much better than this. Who knows what we'll find? Hopefully, the source of that energy signal. You were going on and on about landing here. Now you're just standing around chatting? Go on. Get out there. I'm on it. Okay, so I think we need to just grab this. Mm. I'm not sure if we can jump even small jumps. No. Can I even? No. No, I can't. How about climbing? No. Wait, I can throw it, so... Can I throw it to a certain place and then pick it up from there? Because that would be fun. Hold LT to aim and RT to throw. Okay. But this is how it might work. So we go and grab this and take it here. I don't know if it would be faster just to throw it. Whoa! This one grew even bigger! Yeah, there's definitely energy potential in this stuff. Right now, I just wish it was edible. Hey, why don't you just grab a gruel snack to hold you over? There's even some sorghum growing in the hydro. Okay. Hey, I've set up your radio as a repeater for the ship scanner. So I'm like a walking energy detector now? Your gear should pick up the energy signal if you happen to get within range while you're out there. Chapter 2. Looking for a signal. Explore the ridge. We definitely will.